One of our concerns uh, in the antenna business is uh, reduction of PIM, and there's really two types of PIM. One is uh, interband PIM caused by uh, the uh, addition and subtraction of uh, different frequencies that are being used. And a second type of PIM is caused by uh, dissimilar metals uh, in contact with each other causing uh, a junction that uh, will amplify um, uh, PIM, and typically it's a third harmonic, and it's, it can uh, be very disruptive as it can appear as noise, and it can uh, cause interference on either the uh, transmit or receive paths for, for the radio. And, and one of the really critical uh, parts of, of PIM in an antenna are the connectors, and the connectors are a mechanical interface, so dirt and dust uh, can, can be um, causes of PIM. And uh, for that reason, uh, we, we've now really come up with a new type of connector called the 4.3-10, which is um, similar to the, the older style 716 uh, DIN connectors, but it's much smaller, so that's one big benefit. We can have a higher density of connectors on uh, our antennas, as this illustrates here. Um, but also, it separates out the, uh, the mechanical and electrical connections that were a, a really a part of the problem with the 716 DIN. And so um, with these new ones, um, they're much less sensitive to uh, the, uh, the problems of the 716 DIN where it was mechanically required uh, to be just the right torque in order that, that PIM would be avoided. Uh, we have a video that illustrates this where the um, 716 DIN connector is shown being torqued on and you can see from the uh, test uh, instrument how the PIM just spikes off the chart as they're torquing it in place, showing just how critical the mechanical connection is. And the second illustration is with the, uh, the new 4.3-10 and it uh, shows just as it's being attached just a total flat line, meaning the mechanical interface doesn't affect the electrical and this is really a big deal for PIM. Katrein.